I'm going to walk you through three different instances where we can see the presence of God that is with us. The third example I want to share with you can be found in Matthew chapter 27. And it's the end of the chapter, and I'm going to read from verse 16. And it says, The eleven disciples traveled to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but some doubted. Jesus came near and said to them, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Now, this is a really interesting transition that we see. We see from the Old Testament to the New Testament, the relationship that we have with God completely changed. And we can't see that better than with the relationship that Jesus had with his disciples. Because these disciples lived and traveled with Jesus for three years. They saw him in his ministry. They saw the miracles that he committed. He saw They saw his death and his resurrection. And now what happens next? When we go through life, we can be very used to a specific way that God's presence feels, right? In this particular instance, we feel so close to God and maybe something changes and it's easy in that change to forget that God's presence is still going to be there. And for the disciples, they had his physical presence with them for three years. And here we see that Jesus is about to go into heaven and to stay there. But before he does, he gives his disciples some directions, which is where we get the Great Commission. But then he says, and remember that I am with you always, because even though his body was no longer going to be on earth, that he was going to be sending his Holy Spirit. And so this promise is the promise of the Holy Spirit that we are sealed with and that comes upon us and that Jesus is with us as we go and fulfill the Great Commission, which is to share the gospel with the people around us. So this is a clear promise of God's presence with us as we live our lives, that as we're doing ministry, as we're obeying him, as we are following the things that God has called us to do, that he then says, and don't forget, I am with you always. And so this transition that we see, the three kind of different verses that I shared with you, the first is in the Old Testament where the presence of God is not necessarily individual. And then we see, we are reminded that regardless of what happens, that there is absolutely nothing that can separate us from God. And then we see that tested. In these verses, this is a huge test. Jesus goes from being physical to being spiritual for these people. And I'm sure they thought, oh my goodness, it's not going to be the same. I'm not going to feel God's presence. He's not going to be there with me. And maybe God knows that this is their fear. And he says, you know what? It is going to change. It's going to be different, but it's still going to be my presence. You're not going to be able to see me with your eyes and to touch me, but I'm going to be with you. Even as I go and ascend into heaven, I'm sending my spirit. It's going to be with you. It's going to be with you regardless of what's happening and to the end of the age. I love how God's word shows us so many different instances of this promise that God is with us and test that promise too. Going from the Old Testament where that relationship was maybe a little bit more distant to then the New Testament where that relationship becomes so intimate, but then also the difference between God's physical presence and the presence of the Holy Spirit and how even through all these changes, God's presence doesn't change, that he, even though it might be in different forms and different ways, he's still there. And so I find this really, really encouraging. And so I hope it's encouraging to you. And if you're feeling alone, just remember that Jesus is Emmanuel, which means that God is with you. He is with you always. He is with you regardless of what's going on, that if you are saved, you are in his hands and nothing can take you away from that.